What's going on guys? It's Roll Easy here and tonight I'm back with a second money glitch video. We have a solo money glitch here. It is the apartments glitch that we've been doing, but I want to clarify stuff and make it really clear, you know, cut and clear for all of you guys to be able to understand it and hit it, all right? It's the best money glitch we got going. It's solo. I did post the gift cards to friends glitch where you can duplicate retros with your friends. If you guys haven't seen that, link will be in the description as well as after the video. And uh, guys, I recommend you do these glitches. I'm posting two money glitches today because I want you to take advantage of them today and tomorrow because I do believe that Friday when the Halloween DLC drops that all these glitches will be patched. Okay, so I wanted to come out with these videos now so you guys can really, really take advantage to have enough money to buy whatever comes out for the Halloween DLC, like that Vigilante Batman car, all right? Really excited about all the stuff coming out, face paints, everything, okay? So we're gonna get started. We're gonna be transferring the apartments from our male character over to our female since I've been making merged outfits and I know a lot of you guys have made outfits. If you don't wanna lose any of your outfits, we're gonna be doing it this way. So go to your main character, that's our male character. You're gonna to wanna to buy the expensive properties. So here we go. I'm gonna be buying the three most expensive apartments which are the uh, penthouse suites, the Eclipse Tower penthouse suites, one, two, and three. You wanna buy them in slots four, five, and six. So the setup for this will cost you a loan just for the apartments about $3 million, all right? Now remember, slots four, five, and six, no other slots you wanna buy these apartments at. It will not transfer. And uh, if you guys don't have enough money for these apartments, just start off with one or just start off with the most expensive apartment you can buy. And then each time you do the glitch, you'll get some money and you can work your way up until you can buy more expensive apartments. All right, so you can, you can work your way up to that. So as you can see, slots four, five, and six, penthouse suites. That's what you wanna see, okay? Now for the first time, I'm gonna show you guys how to make even more money, which is using the CEO offices as well. So this is the setup for the CEO offices. We're gonna be buying Maze Bank Tower, okay? So if you're gonna be buying Maze Bank Tower as well, depending on what properties you got, if you buy everything I've been buying in this video, it's gonna cost you roughly five to seven million dollars just to get started with this glitch. Okay, so it's pretty expensive, but you will make your money back and make good profit, okay? So as you can see right there, I bought the three most expensive penthouse suites in slots four, five, and six, and I bought Maze Bank Tower on the main character. Now, and this is the character we have the outfits on that we don't wanna get rid of, okay? We wanna keep all these outfits and everything, and the money's gonna share it to bank accounts, okay? So now we swap character, we go over to our female second character, all right? On this character, you wanna buy the cheap properties, okay? They're not apartments, they're actually like little garages and houses, all right? So slots four, five, and six, I already have them purchased right there. The three cheapest properties right there that you can find, okay? Slots four, five, and six. Now, if you're doing the CEO offices, the one you wanna buy on this account is actually Maze Bank West. That is the cheap $1 million uh, CEO office, the one that most people get started with. So as you can see right here, Maze Bank West, this is the one you wanna buy on your female second character, okay? So that is the setup, guys, and we're gonna be making good money on this. Uh, $1.5 million the first round, the second round around $2.5 million. So you make an extra mil every other time you do this glitch. So it's good money, you will make your money back. I recommend doing the CEO offices as well as I just began to do them uh, very recently. All right, so now that we've bought everything, we're ready to go, we've set it all up. From your female character, you wanna go ahead and get set up. We're gonna be going to this location, the Mount Chiliad Peyote, all right? We're gonna be doing the job teleport. So go ahead and start up the uh, job with the job markers uh, and back out once you get to the vehicle selection screen. If you don't have the jobs there, you need to change your hide options to show all the jobs, okay? And this is the peyote we're gonna be using. If you're not comfortable with this peyote, I have a link in the description to all of the peyote locations, a video, and a map, okay? Just to help you guys out further. Now, this is the exact spot you wanna stand, okay? That's exactly where the peyote is gonna spawn, and you wanna stand pretty much right over it. Now we need to force a game save, okay? The way you do that is go ahead and go to style, go to outfits, and just click on the outfit you're wearing, and you should see the orange save icon in the bottom right-hand side of the screen. There it just went. And now you are free to go ahead and go to the online tab and leave GTA online, okay? So I hope everything is clear. We've set everything up. We are on our main, or our female character, our second character, all right, where all the cheap stuff is on, okay? So now you wanna go ahead and get one star once you're in story mode. Doesn't matter who you're with, you know, what character you're with. So here we go. Once you get the cops on you and you, he gets his hands up, press pause, go to online, and then go ahead and go to play GTA online and hit invite only session. Now check it out, we get shot up in the clouds. Now that we're shot up in the clouds, hit your Xbox button, hit go offline, go straight back to GTA. When you go back to GTA, you're gonna get this black screen and an alert, all right? Accept this alert. 
So as you can see right here, there's the alert. You accept that alert, hit your Xbox button right now and go back online. Now go back to GTA, hit your Xbox button again, go offline, go back to GTA, you should hit a black screen. When you get that black screen, Xbox button right on the black screen, go online, wait 25 seconds, and then come back to GTA. You should see that orange save icon right there at the bottom right, and then it should say joining GTA online. Just like that, guys. It's not very hard to do. We've been doing this glitch for a while now. That was for Xbox. You're gonna spawn down now as your female character. It's gonna split story mode character, sprint over to the peyote, hit right on the D-pad really quick, go to online, scroll up to swap character, smash A twice, and it'll shoot you up in the clouds. If done correctly and very quickly, you will not get the timed out, all right? Make sure when you hit right D-pad, you're gonna feel a vibration on the controller. That means you're eating the peyote. You can go ahead and hit pause, go to online, and go straight to swap character. All right, I went fast through that, but we've been doing this glitch for a while, guys, all right? I hope that was clear enough for you. I did it a little bit different, but now that we're at the swap character, you wanna pick your male character. This is where all the expensive apartments are and the expensive CEO office, Maze Bank Tower. We're switching, or we're picking that character because now we're actually just gonna wait to time out. And when we time out, what's happening is all the properties and outfits from this character are being traded or not being traded being transferred over to the female so that's why you're not losing any outfits nothing like that you're keeping all your outfits but the apartments prices and everything are traded off so we got the timed out locating session alert go ahead and accept that once you've accepted that alert that's a good thing wait for the clouds to unfreeze those of you that aren't getting anything to transfer it's because you're not waiting for the clouds to unfreeze you need to wait for them to unfreeze then you can go ahead and close your app PlayStation, start the app back up, hit or hold L1 and R1, and then wait for the display calibration, accept it. You guys can go ahead and go straight into an invite only session. Xbox, this is where we're at. Close your app right now. Then you wanna go ahead and press start on GTA, press the pause button, go to manage game, go down to save data. Go over to your gamer tag, click on it, hit delete save data from this console. Not from anywhere, not from everywhere, not from cloud, from this console. Start GTA up, and then when you start GTA up, it's gonna try to sync your data. Hit cancel and stop sync. You don't want it to sync, so hit cancel, stop sync. Now we're at this point, starting back up GTA. This is where the cancel, stop sync stuff is gonna happen. Once you do that, you're gonna get the display calibration. So display calibration will be coming up very shortly. Once you get that message, you go ahead and accept that alert, okay? So here we go, display calibration, just confirm it. And then now you just wanna wait to get loaded into the prologue. Xbox guys, if you don't get loaded into the prologue, you can go straight into an invite only session, all right? Uh, but me, I always get loaded into the prologue as do many other people. I think it depends on your, on your save data for the uh, story mode that you've done, okay? So now that I'm in the prologue, you're gonna go ahead and quit your app again. Now, once you quit your app, just simply start it back up. And then when you start it back up, you're gonna go ahead and you see I left it going over here just so I can talk a little bit more. Uh, it's gonna try to sync data again. Let it sync and it's gonna ask you right here, where do you want it to sync from? Xbox guys, you want it to sync from this console, okay? Don't sync from the cloud, hit sync from this console and let all your data sync back up, okay? That was the last time we had to restart the game. So now we're at the point where the, the console pretty much is syncing all of our data. We don't lose anything from doing this as long as you only delete from this console in the beginning. And now we're loading from this console, let everything load back up. And this is at the point where I always get to where I need to actually go into an invite only session. PlayStation, after you guys did the L1 R1 trick, now you're back with us. We're all on the same page now. Now we've loaded into story mode as our story mode character. Go ahead and hit start, go to online, go to play GTA online, invite only session. We're gonna get hit with this message right here. It's Rockstar's game policies, all right? Just go ahead and check that off, accept it, and then now it's gonna shoot us into online, all right? So we've done the entire glitch, guys. This is where we make all of our money now. So we spawn back in as our female character, the one we did the glitch on. Go ahead and open up your phone, go to the internet. We're gonna go to Dynasty 8. Once you're at Dynasty 8, now we're gonna buy the cheap properties over the expensive prices. So check it out. So that's four, five, and six. Go ahead and buy the cheap properties over them. 524 grand I just got from that one. Purchase another property over slot five. 425 grand just got from that. Now purchase the next cheapest property over slot six. Boom, we just got 466,000. So that's one and a half million dollars basically we just made right there from the apartments. You will always make that one and a half million. But now I'm gonna show you guys the CEO part as well. So what you wanna do now is go ahead and buy Arcadius. Now we're buying Arcadius and then 
what you should see is actually you're gonna lose 250,000. I think since this was my first time doing it, I actually gained a little bit of money. I gained $147,000. You're gonna see it in the top right. Uh, I wanted to show you guys this. The first time you ever do this glitch like this with the CEO offices, check it out. I gained 147,000. Now, that's not always gonna happen. Every other time you do this now, you're actually gonna lose 250,000, but it's worth it because the time in between that, you're gonna gain a million dollars. All right, so I wanted to show you guys. I did the glitch again. Right after this, that, you know, that part buying everything, I went ahead and I did the entire glitch one more time. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trade out the apartments. I'm getting the same money back, the one and a half million for the properties, for the apartments. We will always get that money for the apartment. So it's guaranteed one and a half million dollars every single time. But every other time, this is what you're gonna be getting. Now that, remember, we bought Arcadius the last go around. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to Dynasty 8 Executive. And this time, I keep clicking, yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> I thought I clicked on the wrong one there. So this time, now we're gonna click on Maze Bank West and buy Maze Bank West and check out the top right uh, how much money we're gonna end up getting now. So hit buy. I just got $1 million in a second. There we go. $1 million right there. So every other time you're gonna make an extra million dollars and that's the way to do this glitch, guys. You will make an extra million every other time. So your first go around, you're gonna make one and a half million. Your second go around, you're gonna make two and a half million and then so on and so on, all right? So an extra million dollars every other time if you are including the CEO offices, you will make back your money in no time as long as you get good at this glitch. And at this point, you can go ahead and save, you know, force a game save right at that location and then you can leave GTA Online and do the glitch again and rinse and repeat, all right? So I hope that was clear enough for you guys. That's gonna be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take advantage of all the money glitches we got right now. I posted both today. Check both videos out, this one and the gift cards to friends. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to slap that like button by hitting the blue thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new by hitting that big red button. And turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody. Happy glitching.